Uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, it is Retro Round, and for us, no one screams retro like the great Brad and Gary and their super coach, Hot Leg Hands. Check them out. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Sports World. I'm Tim Sheridan. Tonight on the show... We'll chat to ice skater Tonya Harding ahead of her make-or-break showdown with Nancy Kerrigan. We'll catch up with footballer-turned-actor OJ Simpson and the Hollywood roles he'd kill for. And a little later, we'll show how only an act of God could bring down the sporting powerhouse of rugby union. But first, come with me for a sporting stroll down memory lane. To here, on the shores of a little place called Pearl Beach. For many of us, when we think about rugby league in the 1980s, it conjures up certain names like Sergi Pelder, Bruno Pringle, Robert Shara, Nathan Davies, Martin Ahosky, Brett Harris, Charles Abrazizi, Chad Delia, Royce McFadden, and of course, not forgetting, Daniele De Francesco. <laughs> and you could say my next two guests are cut from the same piece of bloodstained cloth. Brad and Gary were once the heart and soul of the small semi-professional rugby league club, the Pearl Beach Possum Hunters. You may remember them from a documentary I made more than a decade ago. Some people are calling you blokes the future of rugby league. How do you react to that? Ah, no, nah, mate. We play footy, spear tackle blokes, drink piss and root shields. The Pearl Beach Possum Hunters exploded onto the scene in Wyong's Division Three reserve grade competition in the early 1980s. The Hunters will always be known for making seven grand finals in a row. Unfortunately, though, grand final glory never graced the soft sands of Pearl Beach. Today, I'm catching up with the two legends at their local watering hole in Blue Collar, Balmain. A suburb that will never become a haven for coffee-drinking, craft beer, yuppie wankers. Anyway, the boys are back in training ahead of the reunion of their famous loss to the Budgie Boy Boys Brass Band in 1983. In 24 hours, they'll replay the match. Brad, Gary, thanks so much for talking to us today on Sports World. No worries, dicks. Why were the possum hunters never quite able to get there grand final wise? Oh, Big Cags here had a uh, bit of an unusual superstition before kickoff and big games. And what was that? He had to get one away before kickoff. Love Paul. Thanks for that, Gary. Yeah, that's all right, mate. What was your excuse for the seven consecutive grand final losses? Oh, mate, I was drunk. Or I was high. Or I was high, then I got drunk. For the boys, the endless grand final losses would send the two devastating back rowers into a decade-long downward spiral. Brad would pull tricks on the streets of Sydney before finding his feet in a series of low-budget adult films under the now infamous pseudonym Rocky Balbona. His short-lived career would include the erotic films The Adventures of Throbbin' Hood, White Men Can't Hump, Gulp Fiction and Romancing the Bone. While Brad found a short-lived career in fetish skin flicks, Gary would try to continue his rugby league career at the Tumby Umby Dolphins. What a f poor excuse for a rugby league club. Fancy naming your team the Dolphins. Shit animal. I tell you what they do, they swim and they have sex for pleasure. Huh. Imagine having sex for pleasure. He'll do it for 50 bucks. <laughs> Sorry, 10 bucks. Gary, did you feel as though you had more to offer the game of rugby league? Sticks, I won't lie to you, I reckon, had three more years. Three more years of eye gouging, head button, iron, yeah. knocking yeah. heads off. Unfortunately for Gary, his off-field indiscretions and doping allegations brought him unwanted public scrutiny. Let's start with the questions that people around the world have been waiting for you to answer. Did you ever take banned substances? Yes, a few billies, <laughs> uh, a few pots points. Got into the gravel there for a little while. The Charlie, the blow, the acid, microdosing only. The Shabu, the Filipino Lala, Anadello Spike, the kidney juice, moose semen. That was big. Obviously, the cane toad, you'd lick the back of a cane toad. And I suppose the, the, the takeaways we get from this, yes, I was taking uh, drugs. But the world was not finished with this dynamic duo. 
And in late 1990, a new decade would kick off a new start. Boys, let's talk about how you reconnected and started working together professionally. Mm. Well, uh, after the Garbos, we did a stint on the waterfront, we were wharfies, and then we decided to kick off a, another, another business adventure. Well, what was that, Brad? It's a uh, pool cleaning. Lives here. Yeah, well, the, the pool cleaning business didn't last long. Hey, hey, he's home. Brad, he's home. Let's go. Code blue, code blue. Get out. Hey, see you next week, sweetheart. Hey, get in. I told you to stay away from my fucking wife, you. And you, clean the fucking pool like you're supposed to be. <laughs> and what else did you turn your specific and unique skill sets to? We set up these little massage joints around Hunter Valley, or as I like to call it, Horny Valley. Hello. Yes, uh, booking for Johns. <laughs> Andrew Johns. <laughs> Gary, if you're working the front door, who's working... Oh, the back door. No, no the, the rear of the premises. Rocky Balboa. People out in Cessna aren't fussy at all. During the interview with the boys, there was one topic I wanted to ask. One I knew might be highly sensitive. I want to talk about hot legs. <laughs> Hulan. Hot legs Hulan, a legend, wanted in 63 countries. He also happened to be the captain coach of the Pearl Beach Possum Hunters between 1978 and 1985. <laughs> and he was killed in Pat Pong, Bangkok. Pat Pong? Yeah, took two balls to the void. Balls? Ping pong balls to the void. Ah, oh, no, sorry about that. Two balls to the chin. Died instantly. Freak accident. Thanks, Gary. That's all right, Sticks. What Brad and Gary didn't know was that, despite the rumours of hot legs dying unceremoniously in an illegal Pat Pong brothel, he was in fact shacked up in the neighbouring beach of Yamina. What have you been doing since we last spoke? Well, lost f***ing seven grand finals on the trot. F***ing useless f Oh, sorry. Can I say I know who you mean, Brad and Gary. Yeah, f Brad. There they come. Rocky Balbona, we call him. Super bastard, can't keep his slug in his pants. Mm. Yeah. Are you looking forward to seeing your possum hunters again, your old team, and maybe even delivering one of those legendary pre-match speeches? Yeah. The time had come. The time for Rugby League's greatest team of moronic f***-ups to find some form of redemption. A full stop on decades of grief, disappointment and B-grade pornos. In an act of respect, our cameras were allowed in once more for another legendary Hoolahan pep talk. F***ing get into How do you want it? I know I want it. How do you want it? Yeah! Uh, See them? Yeah, in there? Yeah. In there? They're all there. They're there. They yeah, got ya. They don't want it. We want it. Well, do we want it? Gonna love you. Yeah, yeah. Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hear that? We're coming for you, f***ing mongrel bastards! Right on, boys, it's time! Brad, you captain today. Go on, mate, lead us out! Come on! Yeah, come on! In the long-awaited reunion match, the Possum Hunters went down 78 to nil. Three, Brad. First f***ing scrum. Gary was sent off after two sack-grabbing incidents in the second and fifth minute. Rip his f***ing head off. While Brad didn't run on until the 71st minute, minus his shorts. As for hot legs, well, he was last spotted with a group of German tourists boarding a flight to the Philippines. Let's hope these local legends aren't lost to rugby league forever. Yeah.